Hey, I'm Parker. I had a few extra minutes on my lunch break, so I thought I might dive into the Adalo forum and just see if there was anyone I could help out. Luckily, uh, there is Gavin here who posted just a few hours ago and hasn't had any responses uh, and has a question that's pretty interesting because uh, I run into this kind of thing a lot when working with uh, filtering data in Adalo, um, and it's something I'd love to walk through. So the issue is, uh, Gavin says they have a user collection in which there's a contacts column, and, and when they're saying column here, they mean field in the database, uh, with a many, many to relation uh, relationship back to the users. The idea is that they can add contacts, who are other users, to a user. So essentially building kind of like a contact directory uh, where everyone that's logged into the app is available to add as kind of like a networking contact, it sounds like. Um, so then they're trying to have a search for users whose email addresses match the search criteria and who are not already in the logged in users contacts list. So they've got the search part down, uh, which is great, but they can't find a way to filter out the users in the contacts column. Um, and they ask, why is that? So great question, Gavin. We're going to dive into this and hopefully figure it out pretty quick. So let me just hop over to Adalo. We're going to make this uh, contacts just quick app to work from. I'm going to hit create and let us dive in. So first of all, what I want to do is just make sure I have some users to work with. Um, so I'm going to add these really quick. We'll just do maybe Parker one. And uh, I might, what I might do after I make this is actually save a CSV. Um, that way I can just really quickly spin these up and get to testing. But let's just make, let's just make three. Oops. I think that'll be enough. Cool. And we're going to hit save. And then I want to make sure I have the database set up. So uh, Gavin said they did a many-to-many -many relationship back to the users. So we're going to add a property here and do relationship to users and choose this many-to-many -many option and click done. And then let's call this contacts. All right, cool. Now there's one more property that I'm going to add that we need for the filtering. Uh, and this is why there isn't an option for filtering the way uh, Gavin's trying to do in this app. Um, so I want to add a second many-to-many -many relationship back to users. And we're just going to call this contact of. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to store simultaneously when somebody adds a contact, uh, they're also going to be added to that person's contact of list. Uh, that way we can keep track in both the uh, user who is storing contacts and then the user who is... Um, basically on those lists. So I'll kind of show you what I mean here. First of all, let's drop in a list. And Adalo recently made some changes to the simple list, which makes it really cool to work with. And it's really fast too. So I'm just going to do a list of users here. Um, we're going to leave all this. I kind of like to style it this way. Um, I'm going to move my face over here out of the way. So uh, let's see. Let's give it a right section with this add. That's perfect. And then I like to also give it a background. Can't go wrong with some rounded corners. And voila, um, we can make this a little bigger too. OK, next what we need to do is add that search capability, which is done with a text input. Um, so I'm going to drop that in and then just kind of match some of the uh, styling here to the list. This is always easier to do up front for me because then I don't forget to do it later on. Okay, very cool. Um, and this is a, a huge pro tip. Be sure to always name your input fields because you will reference them later. So I'll just call this search field. All right, cool. So next, what we want to do is get our filters set up. Uh, so just to let's do a quick demo here. If I sign up, I think I made three contacts. So if I say Parker four, oh, and I need to put in a password. 
if I make my uh, fourth profile here, I should automatically see all of the contacts here. Um, so what I want to do is, first of all, let's let's set up um, the data that we're showing. So right now, the title's the email. Let's change that to the full name of the user. And in the subtitle, let's give it the email. And since we don't have any images to work with, I'm just going to turn off that left section. Um, so we'll jump into preview one more time and look at that. So uh, I've got all the users in the app, including the person I'm logged in as, which is Parker4. Um, so a couple things that we want to do. First of all, we want to filter out, um, let's do all users. Let's add another filter. We want to filter uh, by search, first of all. This is what Gavin has set up already. So we're going to do it, I think, by email is how Gavin had it set up. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. You went, email is equal to the search term. So. So we're going to set the filter where only it's going to show results where the email is equal to. And this is where we go to form inputs and choose search field. That is why we named it. Um, and now, basically, that list is going to be narrowed down to anyone that we enter into this search field, which is cool. Really easy to set up a working search. Um, next, and this is the, the piece that should solve the problem here, is we want to add another filter that is going to, let's see here, what we're going to do is filter out anyone that that has the logged in user in their contact of list. So we're going to go by contact of all, and we're going to choose does not contain logged in user. Um, so let's, let's kind of step through what this means after we add the actions. Uh, so we need a way to add people to the list. Um, and this is what's going to make all of this work too. So I'm going to go down to the right section. And what we're doing is basically just if anyone clicks this add icon, that's when they're going to be adding the uh, person as a contact. So I'm going to click add action and go to update current user. And what we want to do is under contacts is we want to add, oh, I'm sorry, don't update the current user, update the logged in user. Uh, and under contacts, we want to add the current user. So logged in user is the person who's logged into the app. Current user is the row that you're working with in Adalo uh, when you're when you're using the app. Okay, cool. So we want to keep that as is, and then we want to add another action, and this is where we're going to update the current user. So now we're updating the row, uh, the the data for the row that we choose the button on. And under contact of, we want to add the logged in user. OK, so just to recap, we're updating the logged in user by adding the current user to the contact. And then we are updating the current user by adding the logged in user to the contact of. So in practice, let me just pull up the preview mode and, and show you what this looks like. Let's do a search term here. Well. Did I set it up right? Live troubleshooting. Uh, let's see. Email oh, is equal to. We want contains. Uh, is equal to. I mean, you can do either one, but I would have to type in the full email address. So if I switch this to contains on the list filter, this will pull up uh, partial results. So I could just you know start typing anything, uh, and if it matches uh, any piece until it doesn't match, it'll show up in the list. So let me hot back into preview and we'll do that again. Okay, so you see now like as soon as I I get more specific it narrows the results down. Um, so what we're gonna do, uh, remember we're signed in as Parker 4 here. Let's add Parker 2 as an example to the contacts. So when I click that, it takes a second, but you'll see that that disappears from the list, which is good. Totally what we'd expect because now in the background, Parker 2 is one of Parker 4's contacts. Uh, and I'll show you too in the database section here, if we go and look at the records and we look at Parker 4, which is who I was logged in as, we can see contacts and I see Parker 2 listed. So that's perfect. And then the other side of things is if we look at Parker 2, we can go to contact of and we see Parker 4 listed. This is how you get the extra filter working where you're only seeing people who aren't on the contacts list. So it's a bit complicated uh, to get it to work that way. Once it's there, it's all great. 
Um, but I thought it'd be worth recording a quick video. Hopefully it's helpful and I'll see you later.